Good morning, I'm Kathleen Dolan. I'm the local group lead of the Union County part of uh, Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. We were thrilled to be asked to participate in helping get this organized. And it's so important that communities come together to honor victims of gun violence and survivors. We're reading the Wear Orange Proclamation for the city of Plainfield. I'm going to read the first half and then Patty wilson Fico will read the remainder. This proclamation declares the first Friday in June to be National Gun Violence Awareness Day in the city of Plainfield, New Jersey to honor and remember all victims and survivors of gun violence and to declare that we as a country must do more to reduce gun violence. Whereas every day, more than 110 Americans are killed by gun violence, alongside more than 200 who are shot and wounded. And on average, there are nearly 16,000 gun homicides every year. And whereas Americans are 26 times more likely to die by gun homicide than people in other high-income countries. And whereas New Jersey has 439 gun deaths every year, with a rate of 4.9 deaths per 100,000 people, New Jersey has the 47th highest rate of gun deaths in the United States. And whereas gun homicides and assaults are concentrated in cities, with more than half of all firearm-related gun deaths in the nation occurring in 127 cities. And whereas cities across the nation, including in Plainfield, are working to end the census violence with evidence-based solutions. And whereas protecting public safety in the communities they serve is mayor's highest responsibility. And whereas support for the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens goes hand in hand, with keeping guns away from people with dangerous histories. And whereas mayors and law enforcement officers know their communities best, are the most familiar with local criminal activity and how to address it, and are best positioned to understand how to keep their citizens safe. And whereas gun violence prevention is even more important than ever as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to exacerbate gun violence after more than two years of increased gun sales, increased calls to suicide and domestic violence hotlines, and an increase in city gun violence. Whereas in January 2013, Hydea, I'm sorry, Hydea Pendleton was tragically shot and killed at age 15, and on June 3rd, 2022, to recognize the 25th birthday of Hydea Pendleton, born June 2nd, 1997, People across the United States will recognize National Gun Violence Awareness Day and wear orange in tribute to Hydea Pendleton and other victims of gun violence and the loved ones of those victims. And whereas the idea was inspired by a group of Hydea's friends who asked their classmates to commemorate her life by wearing orange, they chose this color because hunters wear orange to announce themselves to other hunters when out in the woods and orange is a color that symbolizes the value of human life. And whereas anyone can join this campaign by pledging to wear orange on June 3rd, the first Friday in June in 2022, to help raise awareness about gun violence. And whereas by wearing orange on June 3rd, 2022, Americans will raise awareness about gun violence and honor the lives of gun violence victims and survivors. And whereas we renew our commitment to reduce gun violence and pledge to do all we can to keep firearms out of the wrong hands and encourage responsible gun ownership to help keep our children safe. Now therefore be it resolved that Mayor Adrian O. Mapp of the city of Plainfield, New Jersey declares the first Friday in June, June 3rd, 2022 to be National Gun Violence Awareness Day. I encourage all citizens to support their local communities' efforts to prevent the tragic effects of gun violence and to honor the value of human lives.